Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Zamod, an open source ticketing system, in Docker. To begin, connect to the device where we're going to install Docker. We'll start by using apt install to install a few prerequisite packages. Next, we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now using apt install, we'll install docker, docker compose, and container d. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled. Add the current user to the docker group. Then re-authenticate the current user for the group change to take effect. We're now ready to start running containers. We'll start by creating a working directory for our container to store persistent data in. Next, we'll clone the mod docker compose from GitHub. Then change directory to the source code and copy the env.dist file into .env and edit it in nano. Update at least the Postgres username and password to something more secure than the defaults. Once finished, save your changes and close out of Nano. Back in the terminal, we'll use the docker compose command to create our Zamod container stack. Once the containers are created, open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8080. Click the set up a new system button. Then complete the form to create an administrator account. Enter an organization name, then click Next. Click Skip on the Email Notification and Connect Channels dialog boxes, as these can be configured later. Welcome to Zamod, running containerized in Docker. 